What's going on, you guys? My name is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about business insurance and why you need it. All right, you guys, before we get started, make sure you come right here and click subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment, even if it's just to say what's up or roll tide, something like that. That, that would make sense to me if you, if you said roll tide, things like that. So anyway, yeah, it helps the channel out. Let's talk about it. All right, some of you guys are getting into the business. You're new at it. Some of you guys may have already been in the business for a little bit and you don't have insurance. And I'm not talking about workers' comp insurance. I'm talking about general liability insurance. I highly recommend that you guys do this for a couple reasons. One, it makes you more legit. It makes people realize that this dude's taking his business seriously and it gives them peace of mind that you're not gonna come and break something and then walk and they'll never hear or see from you again. But the main reason that you need to have insurance is just in case you do break something or something gets damaged or maybe you sprayed some uh, house washing mix on some vinyl siding or something and you didn't tape up the out outlets on the outside. And let's just say a little bit of bleach got in there. And over a matter of time, that bleach is going to corrode all of that electrical uh, copper and stuff that's back there because I don't know if you guys have seen what bleach will do to copper, but it will destroy it and destroy it quickly. If that happens, you could potentially burn someone's house down. Just, I mean, just a simple, uh-oh, you know, something like that. You could literally burn somebody's house down. So you've got the potential for fire. And if you guys wash roofs, you've also got the potential that the homeowner didn't tell you that they had a roof leak that's been leaking for three or four months. But now that you've came and wash their house and wash the roof all the stuff that you sprayed on the roof is what caused that damage that's just how petty people are same thing with like a rocking chair or a plant or any kind of uh figurine or decoration out in the in the flower bed or on the porch or anything like that if you break it all of a sudden it's not going to be uh, a 100 dollars rocking chair from lowe's or wherever you buy it from all of a sudden it's gonna be grandma's rocking chair that she left four generations ago, and they're gonna be upset. That's just how people are. And something new that I learned this year is that a lot of houses are painted, like wood siding and stuff, a lot of the houses are painted with Sherwin-Williams paint. And there is some kind of chemical reaction that Sherwin-Williams paint has with bleach or sodium hypochlorite, whatever you wanna say, and it causes all kinds of funky things. So if that happens, you can either go through a, a court process, uh, like my one of my business coaches did, Mike, he went through that kind of process and thankfully the court decided in his favor and they found out that the paint uh, company had made the mistake, not him. But the main reason you do it, guys, is common sense. It's so just in case something goes wrong, you are not liable technically. It's pretty common sense, guys. I mean, think about it. Some of you guys are not downstreaming. Some of you guys are not uh, soft washing. You're getting up there with a pressure washer and you're blasting the whole house. And I guarantee you, you're blasting around the windows and around the doors. Okay, well, let me explain something to you. Those seals on those windows were only designed to withstand like basic storms and things like that. Not not 4,000 PSI of water being shot directly into them. So water will go around them. If the seals are not good on the windows or the doors and you spray bleach and it gets inside that house from around that door onto their brand new, beautiful 200 year old or 100 year old stained wood floor, you're gonna be replacing some flooring. You're gonna be getting some stuff redone. Same thing with carpet guys you don't understand you know there's so many videos out there that make it look so easy and it you know it kind of is but there's a lot of risk that is why i carry a one million dollar policy a one million dollar general liability policy for my business and i'm probably going to bump it up to two million because we're starting to get into some commercial work and i don't know about you guys but i cannot afford to replace someone's floor or their house or anything else that may go wrong 
I just can't. I don't want to. Even if I could, I still wouldn't want to because that's just money leaving you that could have been prevented. So you may be asking, well, how much is insurance? Well, it depends on where you get it. I do my business locally with a local insurance company and I pay like $52 a month for a $1 million policy. That covers any kind of damage that is done to other people's property. That covers any injuries like if, you know, let's just say we were putting our J-Rod on our pressure washer and all of a sudden the seal goes out, J-Rod goes flying across the yard, hits grandma in the side of the head and knocks her unconscious, you know, she's covered under our insurance. So if you guys do not have insurance, I highly recommend that you do it. It is very affordable, very, very, very affordable. And it makes you look legit and it covers your business. See, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not just trying to be Billy Bob with a pressure washer in the back of my truck riding around with a spray tank. I mean, I, that ain't me. I'm trying to be a legit company with a fleet of trucks. I am trying to be something serious here, and I'm going to be. As long as the good Lord lets me stay alive, I'm going to build this business into that. So, I mean, if you just want to be the guy that goes around pressure washing houses for 99 bucks, maybe you don't need new insurance. Maybe you don't need it. I mean, that's, that's you. But if you're trying to do something legit and you're trying to be serious and you're trying to separate yourself from your competitors, you might want to check on getting some business insurance. So let me know what you guys are doing with your insurance. How much is your insurance policy? How much are you paying per month? And where are you? Let's talk about this, guys. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Please, please, please come right over here and subscribe, man. Tell your friends about us. We are growing, growing, growing. So anyway, if you guys haven't checked out the channels to my mentors and my business coaches down in the description below, please do so. Help their channel out. You guys are awesome. And I just appreciate every single one of you guys. So anyway, I hope this helps somebody. Let's talk about it. God bless.